All right, good afternoon, everyone. We'll take questions for Avalanche head coach, Jared Bednar. Start with Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, I guess if I would ask if there's any uh, injuries or anything going into tonight's game that we might you know, not be aware of. Uh, nothing at this point, but we're, uh, we're still contemplating our lineup here. Um, we've got a couple guys that are banged up a little bit. And um, so just still trying to make some last minute decisions on it. Any other questions for Jared? Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jared, just going into tonight, you know, coming off of last game and, and losing the lead in the third period, just what's, what's the conversation like in the locker room and what's your message to the guys knowing, you know, there's only a few games here left down the stretch? Yeah, well, we didn't like the, the way we checked in a few of the, the last games and, and uh, we had a meeting about it at home and going into the Vegas game and, and we got better and, and um, ended up winning a few hockey games. And then it kind of slipped on us last game again. So uh, part of it is, is our rush coverage and getting back above pucks and work by our forwards. I think we were, um, you know, checking with our eyes a little bit and not using our legs to get back above pucks. So we didn't make it hard enough on them in certain times. Uh, we didn't manage the puck great in those two games in San Jose either. So our puck decisions, and it sort of comes with our skating and our puck support. If we have good puck support and we're skating on the pucks, uh, we tend to make better decisions than, than we did in, in portions of both those games. So cleaning those two areas up for me is really important because that's when we tend to give up the scoring chances that we don't like on, on the turnovers or versus the rush. We've got a pretty good commitment to defend, especially in our own zone, but we have to be better up ice. Dan Greenspan, Associated Press. Hi, Jared. Uh, how do you balance making sure guys are healthy for the playoffs versus trying to push as hard as you can for home ice? Yeah, it just depends on that. We're just uh, addressing those situations on an individual basis. If guys are feeling good and we're having those conversations, then we're going to keep playing and pushing. And if, uh, if someone's not able to uh, go or we feel like that we may uh, hamper them uh, for the start of playoff time. Um, we want them to be healthy and, and we'll pull them out of the lineup if that's the case. I think uh, uh, fighting for first is good for us. It's good. It's important. And we want the home ice. But at the same time, uh, we have to be healthy and rested uh, uh, for when the playoffs start. And that, that's, the, that's the number one priority um, for our team. We feel like we have the depth uh, that can help us right now. If we have to pull somebody out of the lineup, we've got a lot of healthy bodies here and guys that are, are hungry and chomping at the bit to get in the lineup. And if, if we need to use them, we will. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, Jared, it's hard to say anything bad about Kale ever, but uh, I did notice he is a minus nine in his last eight games. Uh, I was wondering if you're noticing anything, uh, you know, that Kale has slipped into a bad habit of anything and whether you've addressed that with him or not. Yeah, so we, it, it's, it wasn't just Kale. I think that there's, um, you know, some of the things that I just mentioned um, as far as our checking and getting back above pucks. Um, our top guys have been guilty of, of it here just as of late. You know, like they're, those guys on, on the ice are McKinnon's line and, and McCarr and Taves, and they do such an amazing job for us on the offensive side of things, and they're always so dangerous. Um, we kind of felt like just recently that they've been gambling a little bit and uh, uh, we, we overtaxed them in a few games. Some of them haven't felt like they've had the best legs in, in, in during this busy schedule, but I think they're coming around on that now with a little bit of rest and we just got to make sure that they're putting the right amount of emphasis on, on our checking game. You know, you, you, we can't cheat in, in certain areas and then still hope to get the job done. We kind of gotten a little bit of a... Um, scenario here lately where we're trading chances with those big guys on the ice and it's not not something that we want to do um it's something that we talked about from day one of training camp just stressing the importance of our checking game and and, and so they're aware of it we've had a conversation or two about it and i think they'll be better here tonight all right thank you jared appreciate it all right we'll take questions for avalanche forward jt comfer we'll start with peter Baugh, the athletic Hey, JT, I was wondering, how, is, uh, how have you felt about kind of bouncing around the different lines in the lineup? And if you feel like it's affected you in any way, not having, I guess, consistent line mates? Uh, you know, that's something I'm kind of used to playing here. And 
it's been like that over the last couple of years. But, you know, we we have a good lineup. We have good depth in the forward group. So whoever's in and out, whoever's playing well, not playing well, uh, we're able to mix around, um, you know, and fit in pretty nicely. We've all played together. So uh, something I'm used to and just whatever role, you know, I'm in that night, try and execute it the best as possible. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. You know, JT is such a tough league. I mean, you know, they get paid too on the other side. But uh, when you drop a game like that the other night, uh, um, you guys seem to really uh, get hard on you, you know, be hard on yourselves about it and uh, and come out pretty well the next game. Uh, um, do you guys feel like you learned yet another lesson about what happened the other night? And uh, at least no matter what happens tonight, you're going to, you guys are going to work your, you know, your tails off tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's our, uh, that's the culture around here is if we, if we want to bounce back. Um, we're trying not to lose two in a row. Um, you know, not the best effort last game, but, you know, we know what we have to do to win. We got to be, you know, smart with the puck tonight, make sure we're not turning it over with their trap and um, get our speed going, play with speed and confidence, and we should be good. All right. Thank you, JT. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Jonas Donskoy. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hi, Jonas. Um, I was wondering, what impresses you most about Miko Rantanen? Um, his strength, uh, goal scoring, skills that he has. Um, he's really strong in the box. So I think, I think that's probably the biggest thing that makes him successful, in, in my opinion. He can, he can win battles, you know. He can hang on the box and and to create scoring chances that way and and um, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to him. You know, he can make plays. He can he can do it all. So so it's impressive. Warren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey Jonas, I have two questions for you. Um, just one, obviously, after last game, you guys want to bounce back tonight. But but what's the energy been like in the locker room and kind of what's the message that Jared Bednar had for you guys? Then I'll ask my second one next. Well, obviously last game and, and probably the game before that too, those last two games in San Jose, I don't think we were playing our best and, and uh, you know, we're, we are getting close to playoffs. So, so uh, we're going to get our legs going. We want to get back to playing our best hockey. So, so I think that's the, that's the main focus going into tonight. And a guy like Anze Kopitar, who, who just got 1000 points on Wednesday, just as a player, like how much do you respect a guy that's able to do that, accomplish that feat? He's only the the fourth Kings player that's done it. Oh, a lot of respect. Uh, it's uh, it's a great ac accomplishment, and uh, it's not easy. You know, it's a tough league. Um, play that many games, play get that many points. Uh, you really have to be a good athlete, I think. Uh, take taking care of your body. You know, coming to the rink every day, trying to make yourself better. So. Uh, it's not easy, so huge respect for, for guys like him. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, Jonas, uh, the Avalanche called up a fellow Finn uh, yesterday, a goalie, Eustace Annan, and uh, I know you guys don't know all, every, you know, it's a common sort of question for us dumb North American media is th to think you guys all know each other, hang out together, uh, but uh, – do you know Justice at all? And uh, have you ever played practice against him or anything like that back home? So, yeah, I know him a little bit because he's coming from the same organization where I played uh, in Finland before coming over to the States. So um, when I was still playing there, he was he was still in the juniors, so I didn't play with him. But uh, in the summers, you know, sometimes we are on the ice at the same time. So I know him a little bit. Uh, he's a good goalie. Uh, a lot of... A lot of a lot of skills. I think he has a lot of potential to be a, to be a good golden and golden their goalie in the NHL. So, um, oh, I'm excited. More fans, the better. All right, thank you, Jonas.